Speaker. I'm delighted to speak in this debate and I want to thank the Honourable Member for Mid Worcester for bringing it forward. We know that the problem of puppy smuggling is increasing, but the scale of the problem is very difficult to assess by its very nature. And puppy, puppy smuggling now is thought to represent the third highest number of illegal organised crime activities that emerged from the RSPCA intelligence gathering, with only animal fighting and illegal hunting being higher. The challenge is that the punishments and deterrence for this type of criminal behaviour are simply not robust enough. The fortunes that can be made far outweigh the punishments meted out, and that has to change. The real way to stop this barbaric trade is to enhance public awareness of this issue, highlighting the consequences for dogs and families of this vile illegal trade. <clears throat> Uh, in addition, uh, the Dogs Trust and others have warned that, dam that damaging changes to the pet travel scheme in 2012 has indeed resulted in an influx of puppies being illegally imported into the UK for sale from Central and Eastern Europe, such as corrupt breeders abusing the system. And such mistakes must not be inadvertently compounded, but comprehensively addressed. An important aspect of tackling this is cross-border cooperation with our European neighbours. And I hope, despite the B word, that any form of Brexit, should it happen, does not prevent that and that this cooperation can be entered into by the UK and, and our European neighbours. New resolutions to end the illegal trafficking of pets is something the European Parliament called for last year and is working towards. In or out of Europe, we need to be part of this in the United Kingdom. I urge the Minister today to work with our European partners to ensure that the microchipping of pets across the member states of the EU is more harmonised, as this would enable a more compatible database. We know that criminal gangs have taken advantage of the lack of harmonisation of ID, registration and database requirements to circumvent the pet travel scheme and use it as a cover for the mass illegal smuggling of puppies. This harmonisation would strike a, a significant blow to the heart of this barbaric illegal trade. And we are, a we, are, we are nations of animal lovers and we cannot delay any longer.